Welcome to South Sudan, a country full of fascinating cultural practices, stunning landscapes, an amazing way of life that is deeply rooted in tradition and noticeably very tall in stature. In fact, they are indisputably the tallest people in Africa. From the scarification of the Dinka tribe to the vast wetlands of the Sud, South Sudan is a country that has much to offer. Join us as we explore the intriguing cultural practices, stunning landscapes, and unique way of life of the South Sudanese people. Before we continue, we would like to welcome you to the new Rock Ghana, where we now upload videos that showcase African people, African tribes, African countries, and African history in a positive light. Don't forget to like this interesting video. Your comments and suggestions are also welcomed, and please be reminded to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you are the first to receive our videos when we upload. South Sudan is the youngest country in Africa, and it is located in East Central Africa, with a population of around 11 million people. The country gained independence from Sudan on July 9, 2011, following decades of conflict and struggle. Located south of Sudan, the country is bordered by Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, Central African Republic, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. South Sudan is home to many ethnic groups, the largest of which are the Dinka, Nuer, and Shiluk tribes. These tribes have unique cultural practices, languages, and customs that make them distinct from one another. South Sudan is home to the tallest tribe in Africa, the Dinka people, with an average height of 6 feet 5 inches. The Dinka people are known for their remarkable height, which is considered a sign of beauty and strength in their culture. The Dinka women are just as tall as the men, and their height is admired and celebrated in their community. The Dinka people are primarily cattle herders and farmers, with a deep connection to their land and animals. They consider their height as a gift from God, and it is something the Dinka take pride in as it clearly sets them apart from other tribes and makes them unique. The lifestyle of the South Sudanese people is largely centered around agriculture and pastoralism, with many people living in rural areas and relying on subsistence farming and cattle herding for their livelihoods. One intriguing and surprising cultural practice of the South Sudanese people is their use of scarification. Scarification is a process of cutting or burning the skin to create patterns or designs, which is a traditional form of body art and cultural identification among many tribes in South Sudan. South Sudanese women are renowned for their beauty and strength, often playing a vital role in the country's social and economic fabric. They're known for their brightly colored clothing and intricate hairstyles, which reflect their cultural traditions. South Sudan. South Sudan is Sudan. South Sudan is South Sudan. South Sudan. South Sudan has been South Sudan. 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 The country also boasts a number of festivals and celebrations, including the South Sudanese Independence Day, which is celebrated annually on July 9th. Other festivals include the Yambio Cultural Festival which celebrates the cultural heritage of the Azande tribe and the Juba Music Festival, which showcases the vibrant music scene in the country. South Sudan's economy is largely based on oil production, although the country also has significant potential for agriculture and other industries. The official currency is the South Sudanese pound, and the official languages are English and Arabic. However, there are many local languages spoken throughout the country including Dinka, Nuer, and Barai. South Sudan is home to many beautiful beaches, such as the sandy shores along the banks of the Nile River. In addition, the country is home to many unique wildlife attractions, including the white-eared cob, the Nile crocodile, and the African elephant. The landscape of South Sudan is diverse, with lush forests, vast grasslands, and the Nile River running through the heart of the country. The Sud, a vast, swampy region in the south-central part of the country is one of the largest wetlands in the world. Religion plays an important role in South Sudanese society, with the majority of the population adhering to Christianity or traditional African religions. However, 
There is also a significant Muslim population in the country. South Sudan is a presidential representative democratic republic, with the president serving as both the head of state and the head of government. The current president, Salva Kiir Mayerdit, has been in office since 2011. South Sudan also has a rich cultural heritage, with a long and complex history that has been shaped by colonialism, civil war, and struggle for independence. Historical figures such as John Garang, the founding father of the Sudan People's Liberation Movement, and Rebecca Nyandang, a prominent political figure and women's rights advocate, have played key roles in the country's history and development. Despite its challenges, South Sudan is a country full of beauty, diversity, and potential, with a rich cultural heritage and a unique identity that deserves to be celebrated and explored. From its stunning landscape and wildlife to its vibrant cultural traditions and people, South Sudan is a country that has much to offer the world.